My Air 450S RV must have air compressor for your big rigs. So let's put it to the test. I have to admit, I received this a couple of days ago. I unboxed it and I tested it on our SUV and it worked, worked great. But this is more of a real job because I need some serious pressure here. So we'll test it and see what it does. In the box, in the back, it's a really handy sturdy little bag. There are compartments. There's one extension cord and on the other side is the second one. 30 feet each. 60 feet together should be more than plenty to run around and do your coach. Inside the magic bag is a compressor. Rating 150 psi maximum power. It's a 12 volt system, of course, but you need to run an engine. And even though it's a 12 volt system, but it really requires like 13.7 volt to operate. So you might want to use your coach battery, or you're, or you're running it off your RV. But in this case, we have a car here, so I'm going to hook it up and run it from the car. A bonus digital thermometer or pressure gauge, which may or we may not use. A couple of ways to connect. This is probably what I'm going to use. This is more like for regular tires or some more difficult places to access. A um, couple of filters, extra filters that screw right here on the side. And a couple of more, what do you call this? Adapters to like if you need to inflate your daughter's soccer ball or basketball. That's what these are, I guess. So no need for that. We'll put this away. Tire pressure gauge goes up to 100 and I can read it, 160, but 150 is supposed to be maximum. So let's put this Humpty Dumpty together. If you start your car, which I'm going to do now as soon as I get the key. Alright, let's turn this thing on. The first test, my front tires need to be inflated to 150, 130. 130. So let's see what it does. The motor shuts off when it's no requirement for the for the air compressor to work. So as I soon as press the the motor kicks in. So let's try. It appears to be working, but I'm not sure I'm getting. I'm gonna switch. So I'm gonna change this. Learning curve. Okay, let's see what that does. So it looks like there's about 112 right now, so. Probably take about seven, seven to 10 minutes, I'm guessing, to do this. It's moving slowly, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So we gotta get to 130, right? Yeah, I'd say 10 minutes at least. But what's the other option? There's no option you can drive up to the car, to the gas station, and pump your own gas. So tires. Big tire, big pressure. Just for illustration. This coach is weighted 67,000 pounds, fully loaded. There are eight tires on the coach, which means each tire carries at least 8,000 pounds. In my case, up front, I'm guessing closer to 10,000 pounds. Well, 10,000 pounds is a weight of two SUVs. So your Jeep Cherokee or Honda Pilot, two of those each tire carries. Well. 
so two SUVs have eight tires. Eight tires are about a thousand dollars. One of these tires is a thousand dollars. So you see the connection? Thousand dollars for one or thousand dollars for for eight? Comes down to the same. Okay, so we're about 120, but we gotta get 10 more out of it. Probably gonna take more than 10 minutes. Um, All right, so at, after about 10 minutes, I am at 128, so I'm about 2 PSI short. The pump shut itself off, indicating that's overheated and it needs to cool off. So in the meantime, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to check with the digital pressure gauge to see if it's close or if the reading is the same. So this reads about 128. All right, so my new digital knickknack. I'm gonna turn that on, zero it out, and see what the score is. And the reading here is 126. Pretty close. So basically, if I can use that gauge on the on the compressor, that shows 130. That one should be good for. Uh, 130 so that's pretty close so I'm happy with this one and the compressor is little getting hot so we'll see how long it takes for it to cool down and so we can continue oh looks like it's ready let's try to finish the job okay let's see if we can get two more ah, the pump is not ready yet. okay so 115 said 115 right mm -hmm. and we are at uh, looks about 103 so we would need 12 okay so where are we at we're about 111 about 111 yeah we need 115 right I mean we're one right 19 yeah we need 115, we need 115 so 115, we're okay about one Almost one uh, My assistant can do this, so anybody can do it. <laughs> All right, so we're about 116 right now. This is what we need. We need about 115. Uh, the pump did not shut off to cool down this time, so it seems like that's an easy pressure to handle. So, so I'm going to stop it right here, and then we're going to check again later with the digital uh, to see if it matches, but I think it's pretty close. So I'm going to stop it right here. I do like the screw screw tab it's easier to work with this all right so now i'm gonna do these bad boys and they may be a little bit more difficult be nice to have a little stool actually i see this for the future projects a little stool would be handy so here we have to go to 95 only i say only because right now we are at looks about 84 right 84 so really about 11 more so let's go so this is what it's doing now if I'm holding the trigger the pump kicks in between 125 and 150 and basically it's kicking in and that range I don't think that's normal because it wasn't doing on, a, on the first tire so I'm not sure but at this rate it'll take forever to do this so as I'm still holding it, 125, it kicks back on and it runs for 10 seconds to build to 150 but it does not run continuously to pump this up so if I see what the pressure is I'm at 91, so I need about 4 more but it's just that just takes way too long, I don't think this is normal In conclusion it took us an hour to pump up the tires uh, the tire pressure ranges from 130 as low as 95. 95 to 115 was no problem, but the 130 didn't like it. The system was overheated and, and kept shutting off. So basically can run about 25 minutes, I would say the pump is good for, and then has to cool off and you have to wait. So uh, hopefully you will not have to inflate all eight tires at the same time if you're just doing one or two. You'll be okay, but uh, 
eight tires uh, about an hour, but uh, so we got it done. So, but I'm still testing it. I'm still not completely happy with it because this is a 350 plus minus dollar tool or toy. I expect a little more from it, but I'm gonna do a little bit more testing to make sure that I'm doing everything right and that the pump is doing what it's supposed to do. So, thanks for watching.